Uh, broadcast number one of my new series which is Vintage Story Outlaw Hardcore or Hardcore Outlaw one of the two uh, Resonance Archives Quest it's a mouthful basically all it is is I've played a lot of Vintage Story uh, just the vanilla or whatever with modded sweater doesn't matter but I've played the whole thing where you survive for a long time and you build a house and you build a farm and you explore around all this jazz and it's great. It's a great game. Um, ran a server for almost two years. Uh, and I, I just, I was trying to think of another way to, to make it kind of fun. So I thought everybody's, people that are now, there's more and more people streaming Vintage Story and, and doing um, videos on YouTube. Um, and I thought maybe I could try something new. So my idea is to... Um, basically start uh, with a created world running three mods uh, one would be the uh, outlaw mod to include um, human-like NPC aggressive uh, enemies and then uh, the simple HUD clock mod which will be on the upper left hand corner of the screen which will allow the the viewer to verify that there hasn't been any lapse in uh, footage, you know, for people who might want to cheat and die, and then come back and pretend they didn't die. And then the other thing is uh, is a a uh, leaderboard mod that um, it's a server leaderboard mod that keeps track of quite a few things, including uh, not only deaths and kills, but keeps track of minutes spent on the server. So in this case, the server is a single player, so it would just keep track of the minutes spent in the game from the time it starts. And the whole idea of this game is to uh, find, seek out and find the Resonance Archives and to walk through the, the two big front doors at the top of them and at that moment uh, the, game, the goal will be accomplished and the minutes will be recorded and so I'm just going to give this, the, this is the inaugural flight of this idea we'll see how it goes um, so enough of that. Uh, my name is Array Pointer, and this is my series. So I'm going to start a whole new game here, and we're going to create new. And I'm going to leave this the scenes. Uh, I'm going to leave the settings all default. Everything's default because once I die, it's over with anyways. So we're going to call this the uh, Vintage Story uh, Outlaw. Hardcore Resonance. I don't know if I have enough room for all this. <laughs> Just RA <laughs> uh, Quest. So, Resonance Archives Quest, uh, Season 1. Season 1. Okay, that's a mouthful there, but we'll go ahead and create the world. volumes are right. I think they are. And away we go. So um, let's see. This is uh, more like my real skin. Um, I didn't want to bother getting that human skin mod. What the heck? This close enough. Uh, I'm going to give myself green eyes, which I don't really have. Oh well. And I like to look the same every time. Short hair None. Uh, I'll go with the grin. No mustache, no beard. Black hair. Uh, we got the britches already. Oboe's fine. Go with low. Ooh, maybe I don't like that. How about clarinet? Yeah, that's better. Okay, confirm your skin. And then um, I'm going to be a hunter so I can make bows and such and run a little faster. And because we won't be homesteading at all, this is all going to be about exploration and preparing myself to, you know, find, to survive and find my way to the Residence Archive. So as, as most of you know who have played this, and for those of you who haven't, before you can find the Residence Archives, 
you actually have to find a treasure trader and you have to trade with that treasure trader a uh, tin bronze pick. So these are all things that have to be done ahead of time. Once you get that map from the treasure trader, then you you just it's a race to get there. And it's usually thousands of blocks away. So anyways, here we go. So we're going to confirm this and we are getting started. Uh, I'm going to okay, show you a couple things first. Um, first of all, I'm going to save and leave the world. And I'm going to show you the mods that I'm running. So I'm running the HUD clock mod, uh, the server leaderboards, as I said, the outlaw mod, and then down here, of course, these are the three you have to uh, run that come from the game if you want it to run properly. And all these other mods are for the server that I, I uh, run a server for family and friends. And so we're not doing those in this, though. Uh, and then uh, we'll go back in, and I'll show you how we can access the um, server leaderboards. Uh, the default key is U. So right now, uh, miscellaneous server. So no minutes. Haven't even spent a full minute on the server yet. So that'll go up as time goes on. Obviously, I haven't died yet. Haven't killed anything yet, etc. So here we go. So first thing we need to do is take a look, a high look around. Make sure there's any danger that's going to sneak up on us. I see a little rabbit. That's about it. So, I need to find some stone on the ground so I can nap some knives. We're going to have to gather all clay stone. Uh, okay, that's not good because you can't nap it, so we're just going to toss that. We need to find nappable stone, so this might be a bit of a challenge here in the beginning. Uh, flint, maybe, if, if I can find some flint like this, I could find enough flint to get enough knives to expand my uh, inventory with baskets real quick. Get some food. That'll keep me going for a little bit. All right, so let's find some more flint. Because I think the surface stone is pretty much dictated by the underground underground rock. So if it's um, going to be clay around here, I'm not going to find any nappable stone. It's going to be clay, yeah. So I just need to try to find some dual colored, which are always flint. And uh, there we go. That should be enough to get us going for these knives. So, yeah, well, I need to grab a whole bunch of reeds and roots. So, in the beginning here, normally when you play Vintage Story, you're, uh, you're trying to get reeds and leave the roots so you can come back and get reeds later. But since we're going to be nomadic here, we're just trying to get where we're going. Uh, we won't be doing that. So, I'm going to make a couple of knives to start with because I don't have much inventory until I get these baskets made. And then we're going to have to go grab some sticks real quick. Sticks are pretty important here in the beginning. So we'll just... Now the only ones that give sticks are the ones where you can see the little branches in, but I'm just going to clear out some of them anyways. Because uh, we also want to be able to see around, see if anyone's sneaking up on you, wolves, bears, or any of the outlaws that are going to be a part of this mod. Okay, so get some more sticks. We got we've five, st five sticks so far, which is good, uh, good enough to get this going. So we'll make a couple of knives to start with. Now everyone has uh, their favorite places to place their food and everything else. Uh, I like my knives in slot three. So here we go. We're going to get some. This part of this, this part of it is not that exciting. This is where we guess we talk about something else. I don't know. Nobody's chatting with me, so I guess I'm talking to myself. So as I said. I'm not just gathering reeds, I'm also gathering roots because uh, in case wherever we're, we end up moving to here along the way in the beginning, until I can uh, make some spears and get some animals and for meat, maybe find some vegetables and such, uh, I'm going to be, uh, I don't have any food, so the roots are important right now. Uh, they won't be so important later. So 
I haven't been watching. I've got, uh, so you need five to make a basket, so we've got enough for uh, two baskets already. Oops. <laughs> uh, rookie mistake. All right. Also, I guess it's one. I guess I got it confused there. It's 10. Sorry. I was thinking of the baskets are 24, so... All right, so the hand baskets you carry, then expand your inventory. Those are 10 a piece. Should have remembered that. Sorry. And as you can see, once I added that extra basket, I got some more inventory here. So we're going for four baskets, which will give us uh, 12 more inventory besides our hot bar which you pretty much need. Now, because the whole point of this game, or point, the point of this game I'm playing here, the goal is to get to Resonance Archives, uh, making leather in between. I suppose if, uh, if it it's just so happened that I was taking forever to find, taking forever to find a, a treasure trader, then uh, of course, I might, I might have time to go ahead and make leather backpacks which give you more room but for now um, we're pretty much gonna just see what we can get here okay I think I cleared all these out so now we have enough we have to find another spot that has reeds get some little animals running around there we're not gonna be killing those right away sorry for all you animal lovers but we're gonna be killing some animals in this game so prepare yourself gotta eat Need sustenance. You don't live on air. Okay. So that's seven. I need three more to get another basket. Okay, let's see where else we're going here. Let's look at the map. And we've got water all over the place, so we'll uh, go this way, check this one. Oh yeah, look at all those reeds. Perfect. Ooh, we've got this. See, this is great, but uh, we can't really use it right now. We don't have enough inventory and we're not gonna be baking any bread anytime soon. It's a little bit more time intensive. We'd have to find fire clay to make an oven. Ooh, it's starting to rain. That's a good thing. Okay, we got enough for another basket. Okay, so we just need a few more here. Carrots or onions? Are those onions? Yeah. It is. All right, three more. We are good on the inventory. Okay. So we have enough for our baskets. So now what we're gonna do, let's see, we're gonna need we're gonna need more reeds, uh, but we also need more sticks to make uh, tools and weapons. So let's go around and grab some sticks. So we're, I just usually use this, as opposed to I don't wanna, it, it's faster if you make an ax, but you save on ax if you have to chop a tree. Save on ax where? And again, uh, even though I'm clearing out the ones that don't have sticks, it's for visibility. Because visibility, visibility matters if you want to survive. Just saying. You know, we're trying to survive here. We're not just trying to homestead. One life, people. One life. That's all you get in hardcore. Keep your eyes peeled for bad dudes. 
Now doing this one leaf at a time on a tree will get you a lot more sticks than just chopping the whole tree down. I'm not sure how it is in Minecraft, I can't remember, but who cares, this has been a story. got 27 sticks that should do for now so what I'm gonna do is make some more tools okay we don't need this we'll plant those though instead of throwing them away just in case you never know okay so I planted those seeds all right oh, okay another seed I didn't mean to pick up okay more berries just grab them when you see them don't, don't waste them okay so I'm gonna make some more weapons and tools so right now, we've got enough inventory, so we're going to make, uh, oh shoot, that's right, all we have is flint. Alright, let's do this. We're going to stop at 64 of the roots, because uh, inventory space is, I have more space, but you don't want to waste it. We're basically going to be a nom we're going to be nomadic. I will set up uh, a little place once I find an area that has everything I need, which is uh, a place with reeds, a place with uh, nappable stone like granite or andesite or whatever basalt, but uh, clay or sandstone. That ain't going to cut it. But right now, I'm just gathering up what I need to sustain myself until we get there. Now another thing that you want reeds for that are important is uh, when you find a forest, you find horsetail plants. Horsetail plants combined with reeds make a poultice, which helps bring your health back if you're getting beaten up by a monster or an animal or whatever. In this game, monsters are drifters and other time-displaced creatures from the netherworld. There's like a scorpion. Well, it's a locust, but it has like a saw blade tail. That's Those guys are uh, bad dudes. They'll come right after you. Okay, we're almost up to 64 on the roots, so we're good. Uh, we're looking at time. We're at 1354, so at some point we're going to make a grass. We're going to make a grass uh, bed. So that we can use that place to dang it. Okay, I'm just trying to get up to 64 of these roots here. 63, one more. And then we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on this stuff and we're going to head out. But before we do that, ah, forget it. I guess I can make our star house. I'm going to make an axe. We're going to need some firewood. Besides the grass we're going to need. So let's do that. Oops. Duh. Okay, so axe, I like to go into my four slot. Put this up here because it, what's great about Vintage Story, unlike Minecraft, is when your tool runs out, if you have a spare one in, in your inventory, it'll pop right in, which is great. Uh, I'm going to eat a little bit here. Life up. Now, if you're injured, your injuries will charge up faster if you have a full food bar here. But I'm, I'm okay right now. I have to worry about it. So now what we need to do is we're going to head south. I think that might be a better bet. And, and we're going to gather up any flint we see. But we're trying to find an area that has... Uh, Oh, wait, grass first, duh. Almost forgot. Gotta make a bed. So we need 24 grass to make a bed. And it's a two-step process. You make some hay bales, and you take the hay bales and make a bed. It doesn't take that long to gather this up, so. And there's grass, always grass everywhere, unless you're in the middle of the desert. Okay, there's 20. I don't have one too many. I don't even need that. Okay, so here we go. Make those. 
of here. Voila, we have a bed. So we're going to need that because... Oh, we're going to need a little bit more grass because we're going to be building fires here and there. So we just gather a few more. We don't need a lot. But since we're out here, we got all this grass. We're open plain. We can see bad guys coming. Might as well do it now. Okay, and to show you, to demonstrate how the how the stats work. Now, now when I go to hit the U key, uh, server minutes. So I've been on the server 14 minutes, so that keeps track of that for us. And the moment I walk across those archives, uh, okay, get a few more reads, just in case we need reads for focus. Okay, now this is important. These are copper bits. Okay, I'm going to mark this on the map, but I'm going to take these bits because. We're not really going to be doing a lot of mining. We're just going to get what we need. This is the this is the symbol I like to use right there. Okay, so we're going to take the bits because we're going to need. The, ooh, we got three nuggets. Nice. So the goal here, of course, uh, if you've never played this before, I'll let you know. Uh, we need to make a couple of things in the very beginning, ending into the, the copper age. We have to get enough, we have to get at least 40 nuggets. Uh, when you smelt copper tools and weapons, uh, it takes 20 nuggets to make one. So we, we need, in the beginning, we need a pick and we need a hammer because a hammer is necessary to, for any future nuggets that you mine of any type, you need a hammer to break them into them. Because you, you mine the ore itself and then the ore gets turned into nuggets by your hammer. We're just gathering up stuff that we need. Eventually, what we're going to do, since we're out in an open field, I'll probably just find a place. I'm going to build a shovel real quick because I got some more flint. And uh, we're going to dig our way into a hole or something. And then we'll hide out there a little bit. Five spot. Okay, so we're looking good so far. And I said, like we said, we're gonna head um, gonna head south. Keep our eyes peeled. You never know, bad dudes might be showing up. Now, yeah, we're going by all these crops. If you were playing a regular game of Vintage Story, you'd be gathering these up once your inventory was large enough. You'd be bringing them back to your your. Uh, home base storage but we're not we're not playing that game we're doing something different okay these berries are going to be a huge help for me as I'm trying to get somewhere I can just trying to fill this up to 64 so max it out so this has been a pretty good area here to start with Got all, a lot of the things that I need right away. The only problem is, like I said, don't have the nappable stone, and flint is not common enough to depend on for all of your weapons and tools. Okay, we're almost there. So it's a two, it's a three. Okay, here we go. Now we can just give up on this. Put these away. Put the stick down here. Next to the flint. Okay, so now we're just going to head south and try to find a, a place that has this kind of stone that we want. And we have to watch ourselves now. The outlaw mod. If you got wild animals bad enough. You know, bears will pop out of nowhere. And bears can chase you down. That's another reason why I chose Hunter. Uh... I can it helps helps me get away from bears, but uh, yeah. See all these reeds. This is great, but we don't need any more right now. And we're looking for. Okay, this might be a better place here to get some what I need. Unless this is all claystone sand, I don't know. Yeah, shoot. Okay, that's all right. We'll just keep going. And at some point, since we're running, we, since we're having to run so far to find our first place. We're probably going to run into some 
some uh, human NPCs from the outlaw mod, so we gotta keep our eyes peeled for that. Because they don't play around. They've got bowmen and guys that throw spears, and we got uh, brigands that chase you with an axe, like the vindicators and. Uh... Ooh! Oh, cold bits, I don't need that. Cold bits would be great if I were playing a regular game. Because you'd want to come back and mine that coal up. It's a great fuel for all kinds of things you do in this game. Still claystone. Man, okay. Now this looks like this might be a bit of a challenge here getting through. So, uh, and our knife is almost... Okay, we gotta make another knife real quick. since we're running low. Alright. You know, anytime your tools or weapons get low, you're going to want to... And actually, as it is, um, I can't find... We need spears. So, I'm going to go ahead and make some, even though I'm using flint. And there's nothing wrong with flint spears, but like I said... Uh, is going to have to do until I find. And the reason why I prefer uh, navigable stone is because it's way more plentiful in whatever area you're in that has it. Uh, flint, every time you come across loose stones, it's it's not, flint isn't, isn't there 100% of the time. Okay, we're going to make four of these. Now, I'm a uh, hunter, so I can make a bow as well. And we might do something like that, but we'd have to make arrows too, so I'll probably wait until I've got a temporary settlement before I do that. Right now, I'm probably just going to be running away a lot. Okay, so we're going to have four spears. Put one down here, number two. So that's my usual configuration. Okay, let's see if we can get through here. Okay, you got it. Like I said, now you got to start keeping your eyes peeled because these narrow passages, people just pop out of nowhere. And then you, know, you got to make sure you have an exit strategy. You know where you're going if something bad pops up. It's like real life. <laughs> Also be gathering up some sand here probably uh, I suppose I could do that now because whenever we stop somewhere we're gonna want to do some uh, prospecting I just really was hoping that I yeah we're just uh, we're knee deep in this this is not a hospitable beginning okay there's water down there and this is sort of foresty so we might find some horsetail which we did okay but we need to always have a look around. Don't just start gathering stuff without looking. That's how you get your butt chewed off. So we're going to grab some of these. Oh, see? Just heard it. When you hear that growl, you move. Yep, there he is. Okay, so we're going to spear him. I'm going to take care of him right now. That's a fail. Okay, I can kind of see him. That's not going to work. Okay. Well, I guess we can't have his meat because I killed him over a gigantic cavern in the water. So that's that's a no-go. At least, uh, did we get them all back? We lost one. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out to this island and we're going to sleep out there. Well, first we're going to make sure there isn't anything alive on it, which would definitely cramp our plans. Okay. Looking 
good. Let's break this down a bit. Get this stuff out of here. Ooh, and we have wood in here. I think we do. We're gonna get more sticks, more wood. This is great. Again, I'm not using the axe because uh, axe would be faster on the leaves, but it's wear and tear on the axe, and I can just as easily take a few extra seconds and do it with just this flint. So, and there's some wood right there. So what we're going to do with that wood is we're not going to do what you might think. We're not going to build a fire. We are going to make a wooden pan, which will allow us with sand to uh, prospect for copper bits and nuggets. Okay, we want these sticks. Always want the sticks. First of all, make that wooden pan so you know you don't talking about here. Okay, we don't need this guy. Just plant him there. Alright, uh, so you take a knife and put it, uh, I believe it's there. The wood block. Yep, and you have a wooden pan. So with that wooden pan, you have to stand in the water though. There's a very odd rule about that. I guess maybe it's because it's supposed to simulate panning for gold. They used to do it in the streams, so that's why they want you to do it in the water here. But I didn't gather any sand, so I kind of flubbed that up. You know what? I wonder if there's sand. Or oh, there's some sand right there. Okay, cool. And I don't think there's any animals over here, so let's dig a little of this sand up. Seashells are cool. When you're playing a, a regular game, it's great to collect those because you can make these uh, case things. They're like uh, display cases. You can put all kinds of stuff in them. It's pretty neat, actually. But right now, we're just going to take all the sand so we can prospect with it. And it's getting darker, as you see. Now, it only takes a second to lay down the bed and get some sleep. We just want to make sure that... Uh, we take care of all this business and let's look at our rift activity. It's calm, so that's good. Since it's calm, that means that drifters aren't going to suddenly start popping out of nowhere around here. And those are, the, those are the bad guys that come out at night, for those of you who've never played Vintage Story. I'm assuming most of you who were watching this have, but just in case. Yeah, actually a lot more sand than I thought. It's all the way around it. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's getting darker as you see. And Vinny's Story Nights are uh, pitch black. Just so you know, even with the stars on the sky, if it was a, there were no clouds, there's clouds right now. But even if it was a cloudless sky and there's stars, it is pitch black. You cannot see anything. So if you don't have a torch or something like that, you're going to be out of luck. And as it happens, uh, making a torch is pretty easy. I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you do is, is you uh, do two sticks. First you have to have a fire starter for any of it to even work. So there's your fire starter right there. Put this up here. Oh, we don't need those. Okay, and then uh, to make a torch, Basically, I think it's just one to one. Is it 35? Oh no, it takes two grass and one. So I usually like to make four of these. Uh, it's just my preference, no special reason. Okay, and we don't need those flowers there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay down a torch. Like that. And we're going to use our fire starter on it. There we go. And then we're going to take our other torches. Perfect. Okay, so now I don't like to put... I like to put torches down. I don't like to put them in there. So we're good there. Now, time 
is it? It's 22:41. Okay, so it's it's May, May 1st, so it's the warm months. Warm months, you can go ahead and lay a bed down right around now. This is uh, almost 11 o'clock, and we should be good to go in terms of uh, when we wake up. So we get seven hours, about seven hours from this. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. And sleep. And we're pretty safe out here. Like I said, we're on an island. We're in any creatures. Rift activity was calm. So we were good to go. And now you notice you lose a little food bar when you're sleeping. That's part of it. Okay, let's plant these. Get this out of my face. Okay. Break this up. Make sure you don't want to take it with you. Otherwise, you got to make another one, which isn't that big a deal, but why waste your time? Okay, there's got to be something here I don't need. Uh, okay, I don't need the fire starter anymore because now I have torches. So we're going to toss that. And uh, you know what? I guess I'll get the rest of the sand too. Let's do that. are going to need dirt. So let's plant that guy. Let's start getting us some dirt. So now this is the next day. So we're we're not in any big urgent hurry because we're safe right now on this island. It's relatively safe. And uh, it's the beginning of the morning. 6.22 a.m. So we got the whole day here, which is about 24 minutes before it starts to get dark. 24 minutes real time. So now I'm just clearing this stuff out. And I'm going to grab some dirt. So I'm going to have to make a few more shovels. Okay, so the sand. What do I not need right now? Okay, I need everything I've got. So I'm going to have to make the shovels as I, as I use them up. Is this medium? That's medium, and this is probably low. No, it's still medium, perfect. Because uh, obviously, okay, so you've got different soil types. There's low, medium, and then high fertility soil. Uh, they will not occupy the same inventory slot. See, now I'm getting into the low. See that? And that, that won't even, I can't even pick the low up. So right now we're going with medium. We might with, go with la low later, depending on what's around, doesn't matter. But uh, you need dirt to do things. To build a structure, to like get away from something, and make a dirt ladder just like in Minecraft. So there it is. All right. Uh, okay. How are we looking on time? Okay, it's been 32 minutes. All right. That's um. Enough dirt. Now I better get some more dirt over here. I want to go with 64 if we can. Well, why not? Okay, now we need to make the, another. See, that's why I need to. Okay, once we get this done, once we get this dirt gathered up, it's going to be time to go south some more. We need to find an area that has uh, hard stone, nappable stone. Cause this ain't gonna cut it. Okay, let's get some more dirt. Now, what's cool about Vintage Story, just like Minecraft, I mean, you know, as your technology increases, the um, the shovel works faster, lasts longer, blah blah blah. Same thing, you know, like real life. Uh, this game is great because you can, you can get to the Iron Age and the Steel Age. You can make steel tools, man, and they like last a long time. So, okay, so we got our 64, and let's get our bearings here real quick. Climb up here. See what we're gonna do. So we want to head south, and we're probably gonna stay uh, on the coast. Uh, just keep our eyes peeled. That's why they call it survival, people. Now, if I were already 
had my temporary hut, I'd probably kill that chicken for the feathers, but right now I've everything I've got. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get a few more things here too. Hold on. Let's see. I got four of those left. Let's eat those up. I just made another inventory slot. Let's get some of the sand. because this is this is gonna come in handy later when we're doing prospecting uh, we need those copper nuggets so and in a sense since the goal of this game is to get to the resonance archives as soon as possible uh, you don't want to waste time with things that you could have been done doing more efficiently so now watch this here always go to the higher ground so you can look always higher ground Okay, I don't need that flower. Placing inventory space. And put this here, I like that there. So we can kill that chicken and get the. We're gonna kill that chicken and we're gonna get the feathers. Here we go. Use the old trusty old axe. Oh no, I guess I could just use a spear. Uh, easy enough. Okay, because the meat's okay, but what we really want from this guy are the feathers. Yes, you know what? I'm taking the feathers. <sighs> hmm. Don't need the meat right now. Okay, we got the feathers. 15 feathers is great. That's 15 arrows. Just still heading south. Keep us. See that? That's a wolf or something. What's this? Wow. Yeah, so the scenery and vintage story is... It, it's, you know, you could say it's the same kind of random generation as Minecraft, but the scenery and vintage story is, like, way more interesting. Way more, a lot more variety. The um, Just the appearance of it. You know, it, it's just... Plus with the physics of the wind and all the things, I mean, it's, I think you have to get like a shader mod or something in uh, Minecraft just to make it look like this. And this is the default look of the story. Okay, we're going to come up on this coast here. I'm not sure if there's something over there, so just got to gotta watch. High ground, high ground. Okay. Start heading this way. We haven't seen any NPCs yet, so they're going to be start popping up at some point. And if, if there are a bunch of dudes in a band of them... Oh, I just heard it. Just heard someone. Is he chasing me? Yep. Okay, I might be equipped to fight him, but it depends. If he's by himself, I think I can take him. Is he still chasing me? Yep. Oh, missed him. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Okay, first kill. Nice. And that was a deserter footman. That's right. I was ready for you, footman. Although I am short a spear. Okay. Still heading south. Okay, and you're gonna get more berries and things too. Uh oh, what's that? Is that a pig? That's food if it's a pig. I don't see him. All right. All right. Does this fall? Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Okay, so I got five. Uh, they don't like to, you know, the there's decay rates on these foods, so 
You have to, f you can force it in. Oh, more, more feathers, sweet. Let's try the axe method this time, because that's kind of fun. Uh oh, okay, we got dudes over there. It's getting kind of populated. So we're gonna head this way. Get these chickens over here instead. What's that noise? Okay, what do we got over here? Still loose flint. Is that, is that nappable? Crap. You know what? Let's temporarily put this out. Yes. Okay, so this is a good area for this. Um, you know what, though? Here. I'm just going to have to waste these berries. do is I'm gonna find some place around here that has that's more open that's not so closed off because people can sneak up on you this way so I'm gonna get up here get an elevated position see what's going on out there okay those guys are running around down there see what we got. Okay, that looks like more open over there. We're going to head over that way. See what we get. Okay, I just I fell down too far, so I hurt myself a little bit. I was getting too eager. Okay, I don't see any dudes over there, so let's head this way. Okay, that's what we want. Alright, so we're going to get rid of this one, get the andesite instead. More flint, more andesite. Alright, andesite, perfect. Now we're talking. Now we got some na nappable stone here. We're going to be in the money. In the money. We get about 64 of these. We're close, and we can dump the flint. We're not going to need that anymore. I was accidentally grabbing the flint there. Keep your eyes peeled. Look around. Okay, it's raining. I'm gonna swim up to some of these. Okay, we're up to 12. Okay, we're getting a lot of flint, so I'll probably make a lot more flint than I would have expected. yourself around here. These are the areas where bears just fly out of nowhere. areas like this before. Is that granite? No, that was anisite. Good. Gather a bunch. Is that a pig? I keep hearing a pig and I never see him. Okay, there's a dude over there. You gotta watch him. Okay, they're chasing some. Alright, let's go this way. You know what? We can always make another bed. I'm running out of inventory from here. That dude, this place is crawling with people. Okay. Okay, we have enough sand. We have to gather the sand. We just need to keep getting these rocks. That's not good. Oh, look at all those stones I'm wasting. Ugh. I got 
Oh, these dudes. Oh my gosh, this place is like populated. Holy mackerel. I gotta get the heck out of here. This place is swarming with people. Man. Still chasing me, son of a gun. Okay. Should have made another spear when I had a chance. Who's this guy? Okay, here we go. Lots of brigand. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Oh, no, not good. <laughs> That's one of the baddest dudes. <laughs> he, he's like the vindicator. He's, uh, you don't play. He's going to be on my tail for a while, so I got to try to figure out how to lose him. Oh, man, not good. I wasted a spear, too. Maybe I can get out to the water. I can get away from him. I don't think they swim. Okay. Come on, come on. Get off this part. Okay. Is he still behind me? Yeah, but he gave up. So yeah, those guys don't tend to get in the water, which is lucky. Alright, I gotta get, get my bearing over here. Hope they still have andesite in this section. Okay, so you hurt me a little bit, uh, but I have I have stuff to make up. Wait, do I have four? Oh my gosh, did I not get enough? Hold on. Oh, I need two more. Darn it. Okay. All right. Well, this is a little safer than I was before, so let's take a look around. Alright, I think I'm going to head over there, this section. What's that? Is that a room? No, it's just a hill. Okay, cool. This should be a little safer, but now I don't have as many stones. And that running, uh... Step my food a bit. Okay, so at some point I'm gonna have to cook some reeds. So you got a couple of dudes over there fooling around. Okay, let's go this way. Just trying to get an area where these, these dudes aren't all over the place, man. Is that andesite? Please be andesite. It's granite. Ah! as heck. Okay. These areas here, swampy and foresty, super dangerous. And now it's all granite. Great. Okay, you know what? I'm going to ditch the flint. Pick up granite instead. What? Oh, I used up that food. Duh. Okay. Don't need the flint. Get out of here. I'll leave it in there until I get food. Keep doing that. Okay, plenty of sand out here. Okay, plenty of reeds. This might be a place that will temporarily settle. But I gotta watch it. Oh! I just heard a, somebody shooting a bow at me. Oh, he's over there. Holy mackerel. Okay, 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 okay. These guys are bad nudes, man. Bad dudes coming after me. Oh, here's another one. Great. Oh, boy. I ain't gonna give you nothing. You're gonna have to catch me first. Boy, the guys are everywhere. Now I was worried that the .075 setting in the spawn cap was gonna be too little. Everywhere I go, there's these dudes. Well, we got feral hounds now. Oh, man. 
I'm just trying to find a place to settle, man. This fun one will lay my hat, to hang my hat. Lay my head, come on, dudes. Give me a break. Okay. See if anybody's still chasing me. All oh, those hounds are still chasing me, son of a gun. Wow, these guys are relentless. You know, if I weren't a hunter, I'd be dead. That's, that's no, no two ways about it. Okay. Still chasing me? Okay, looks like they finally gave up. Oh my gosh, there's a dude over there. Wow! No matter where I go, this is crazy. I can't find a secluded place anywhere. Okay, uh, get this. So I, I did this several times to test it, and it was never this populated before. <laughs> Well, actually, this is the whole point, though. It's more exciting. More exciting, more of a challenge. All right. So maybe if I could just kill that guy, maybe I'd be able to... No, there's more than one. Okay. Man, I have just got to find... Okay. Get these berries up. Get kind of low. And actually, you can eat this, too. If it's, if it's mature, you can eat the grain. So that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't give you much, but it's something. Okay, let's see if there's some safety over here. Is this a secret? No, there's dudes down there. Wow! This is awesome! I had no idea there'd be this many dudes. You know, the funny thing is it's working out better than it did when I tested it. I was when I tested it, I was worried it was going to be a little too boring, but this is not boring at all. Okay. All right. I need to get I need to find a place that's defensible that I can defend it. Okay, let's go over here. see who's coming. And I don't see anybody around. That's a big plus right now. Okay, let's look over here as well. Okay, I could just use this. Use these. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I've got reeds over there. I'm not near a forest. Okay, so what we're going to do is while we have time here is we're going to make... Let's see, where's my vantage point? Is this the best one? Yeah, I think this will probably do right here. I can't see over here. Weeks down. Yeah, yeah. So I've got, I've got enough time. I can jump in the water. Okay. So you gotta, like I said, exit strategies are super important, just like in real life. So what I'm gonna do is build a place here. Something like this 
stuff in because I'm getting overloaded here. Now you know why so many sticks I just randomly gathered in the beginning because you need them. And I need to replenish my dirt here that I just used up So we're going to make some walls. And I'm making a real big place. Just enough to like have room for a fire, a little storage, uh, a place where I can put windows on each side so I can get an idea of what's coming. And what's, what's there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the front door right there. It doesn't have to be a big place. Okay, let's go get some more dirt. This one here. And actually, clearing this level out is good because then it increases my line of sight. dark. So, you know what? I'm going to have to abandon that for right now. I'm going to have to make a bed real quick. And we have another knife. Okay, good. our luck here, so instead of, um, here's what I'm going to do, to make these walls at least too high, so only a bear can get over them. down, it's not going to get flooded out. There, so now we have some light, so we're not flailing around in the dark. Alright, and the time is 59 minutes. Okay, that's about 60 minutes. Um, I'm going to sleep, and then when I wake up, I'm going to shut this down for this. 
It might still be a little dark when I wake up because we're only doing it at eight or nine o'clock. Okay, still a little dark, but not too bad. Let's see what it looks like without the. Still a little dark, but that's okay. Okay, uh, while we're waiting, I can make some more weapons and such. So I need a couple more spears. So we'll put that, we'll put that torch back now. So we can see what we're doing. are in good shape, so I'm just going to make two. So, I like to place these up here. It doesn't really matter a bit. You know what? I'll make one more. Just for good measure. do tomorrow night, so we're going to start, we're going to make this a home base for now. Again, I said it's temporary because we're really just trying to get to the archives. So, uh, let's mark it on the map so I can find it. Home. And pin it so we can get to it no matter where we're at. Okay, so we're good. So today, as we're running around, we're going to be looking for things like uh, clay. We need clay right now, like soon. Start making pit kiln stuff. And we're just going to leave this in here because it'll just sprout grass again that we can harvest. Okay, is that the right side? Yeah. Okay, so we're looking pretty clear even though it's uh, let me harvest those reeds and the sand away on the bit. Oh, and then I'm gonna make a special place right here. What was that? Oh, I'm starving. I need food. Okay, here's what we're gonna make. need to eat some of these reeds. So we're going to build a little fire right here. But we have no firewood. Okay. Got to go get that right now. And I think I have the axe is good enough to get some firewood. So let's go find a tree. Before we starve to death. Ooh. There we go. No starving. Nice puff ball. Those are always good to eat. That'll keep us from making noise for a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put the sand away. That's right. One thing at a time here. Get carried away. The sand away. You don't need that. And the, the pan can be just laid on the ground. So yeah. Need to get some more food real quick here. Maybe some berries around over here. Okay, more rocks. We want that. Lots of rocks. That's what we need. Those are tools. Tools and weapons right there. flowering useless for me right now. More okay, this is a good thing. 
Okay, now this, I didn't see anybody around here, and I, there are roaming bands. But I think we're going to be okay. We might have, we're going to have to defend it every now and then. Someone's going to wander into our area. But uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble with being overrun with where we're at. Okay, I'm not finding any berries. Lots of reeds, which is good. So let's do this. Let's get some reeds cooking. So I gotta find a tree real quick. There's a tree right there. Let's chop that tree down. Ooh, there's some food right there. See, you notice I don't grab the other ones because they're not mature yet. So they're not gonna have anything in there. I think only the mature ones are guaranteed to drop some actual food. Yeah, I'm not going to get much out of this, but it's going to be enough to get started. I probably should. Okay, so we've got two, two out of that one. Let's see if there's more trees around here somewhere. Okay, more puffball, that's good. Food is always good. Need those seeds. Get rid of those. Okay, so I'll put that there so I know how many logs I have. We need that, we need that. Uh oh. Okay, so there's a dude around here. See if there's any food in this thing. Well, one little piece. Now, fat we can eat, but we're, we got to save one fat to make uh, our first lamb. So that's always a. Oh, there we go. I didn't even see that. Oops. Well, that was dumb. Hit the wrong hot spot slot. Okay, let's try this again. So we're not doing too bad on fall. Oh. See, the if he's the only one, we can take him. Let's see if there's any other guys around here. I don't see any. So let's do this. Uh oh. Got another flint, flint, granite, granite, granite. Okay. He had a granite or a flint spear, obviously. Okay. I'll save that fat for later. So he's a deserter footman. Uh oh. Trouble here. Oh, oh crap. Not good. Okay. stuff and get out of here. What did I pick up? I don't need this. I need my spear. Okay, I gotta get out of here. It's getting too hot. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> okay, so I got some wood. Uh, not enough to do anything substantial. Okay, let's do this. Get rid of this. Stuff. I don't need that stuff. Okay, I gotta pull this. Okay, sweet. Okay, so I'm not 
quite as out of it. Still pretty close, so I need to I need to find some more trees that aren't crawling with people. find some peat. This is, this is pretty bad. Okay, maybe... Okay. Blue clay. I need the clay. Okay, I need to make stuff, so... The clay, the clay is important. I'm going to get two stacks of it. And that's more than enough. Stop the game, but got too exciting. Okay, almost there. Close enough. Okay, so we got the clay that we need, but we still need some trees, and I have no way. I have enough firewood to make the initial campfire, but I don't have enough to keep the fuel going, so I'm going to have to run around and find this stuff. But first of all, I need to build another reed basket. Do I have enough? Yep. Barely. Okay, so put that down there. Spears still. Oh no, I still have a four, so I lost one. We need at least one fat. We need to keep that. I can eat this one. I'm going to call it quits for this one, so let's do this. Wait, first of all, we'll look at the mi minutes. 73 minutes in the server. Save and leave world. And that's it. Thanks for joining me, and uh, see you again.